Hey golfers and welcome back to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Today's video features Jacob Peterson, a golfer at the University of Minnesota. He's at Second Swing for a driver tune-up today, making sure the driver is dialed in. Um, he's entering the off season here with the spring season upon us and he wants to make sure that driver's dialed in and he's getting fit with none other than Larry Bobka, uh, also an assistant volunteer coach for the Gophers. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy this one. Here we are, here we are today with Jacob Pedersen. Jacob, we spend, we have spent a lot of time together over, well, let's see, we worked together in the summertime and then you play golf for the Gophers and I assistant coach. So I've seen a lot of golf shots for you. Probably too many. This year. Yeah, probably too many is right. I would agree with that. But, you know, one of the things in your bag that probably we can improve on a little bit is the driver. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. You know, and especially the 7,700 go yard golf course down at the Blessings in Arkansas, uh, you know, where you had to hit a lot of drivers and, you know, then the windy conditions in Florida at uh, Vero Beach. Uh, great golf course, but yeah, definitely a, more of a driver golf course. You know, you, yeah. you kind of revert to your three wood a little bit. Yeah. So this is your this is your stock driver, which is a uh, Titleist driver with a Ventus. What's blue six TX? Blue six TX. So we're gonna hit a few shots with that. We're gonna see. You know, one of the things that we've fought. And we did change the setting on this to get it a little more upright. Mm -hmm. You do fight the lefts a little bit with your with your driver. You know, some of that's a little bit of swing related. We're going to see maybe if a little bit of that is equipment related too. So let's let's make a few swings and see what happens. Bang a couple. And folks, if you're interested in speed, watch this. Oh God. <laughs> So I just will tell you that, you know, everybody knows that I'm old and trying to watch these guys' drivers land is like an impossible task because <laughs> that one carried 311 and went 336. And if we hit them mostly like that, that would be pretty good, right? You would take those? Yes. So we have toyed a little bit with a uh, Paradigm Triple Diamond with the UST shaft that worked out pretty good. Uh, you did not bring it today, but that's okay. But those numbers there are pretty darn good. I mean, if we could get that all the time, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, let's hit one more with that, and then I'm gonna see what you do with this paradigm. You know, I think, so one, I think one of the things that, that everybody should understand if they haven't been out to a college golf tournament um, driving is incredibly important, you know, driving, wedging it and putting it just like any, anybody else. But with the length of the golf courses, you really do need to hit some good drivers. So I've got a paradigm nine degree triple diamond. This is just a TR six X. We're going to start there. We're going to see what happens with this. Okay, get the feel of that. I mean, one yeah, of the things with changing drivers, changing shafts, is just trying to get the feel for it. Uh, one of the cool things about working, I guess, what, I'm I'm going to use your I'm going to use your uh, I'm going to use your nickname. One of the cool things about working with Jeep is he does the same thing all the time, which is really cool. Uh, you know, it, I hate to compliment you, but I actually have to. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so you do the same thing all the time, and, it, and it's really just trying to zero in on something that feels right. And, you know, and again, you know, hey, driver wedges putter. It's about confidence, right? Yeah. So you know, when you're standing up there on the tee and it's a 515-yard par four, yeah, you got to feel like you can hit the fairway. Hit a couple golf shots. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so speeds up a little bit. Look at that. So that was 316, 343. We bring the spin rate down. You know, I think one of the things that 
that you do a little bit on the golf course, and I think it's one of the things you work with your instructor, right? You work with Brent about, is you tend to get underneath the driver a little bit, yeah. correct? Yeah. You know, and, and to me, it's nice to have a driver that spins a little less because you will put some spin on it out in the real world. Yep, definitely. Right? So let's hit a couple more, and I'm going to give you another shaft, and then we're going to mess around with settings a little bit. Cool. Again, we're approaching 180 on the speed, little nice tight fade that we like, carrying 315, rolling out to 342. Uh, it is one of the things I absolutely hate about working <laughs> with the Gophers is watching stuff like this because it just depresses you how, how short you hit it, or I hit it. Okay, so let me have that back. How did, that, how did this one feel to you? Uh, it felt like firmer just overall off the face hand with the shaft. Yeah, and that one just carried 317.9 and rolled out to 346. I like the miss hits on that one better. Do we want to sit? Do we want to sit around and have the discussion about rolling rolling the ball back right now? Or <laughs> <not>? <laughs> it's, uh... You know that that those are. I mean, right there. That is that is the modern golfer. I mean, that is that is absolutely. It's fast. It's efficient. It is. It yeah, it doesn't get better than that. And it's it's a swing. You know, at your age, because Jeep, how old are you? Too old, twenty three. Yeah, 23. I got you by, I got you by 40. Um, you know, but that's, you know, you've grown up trying to create speed. Yeah. And you do a great job of it. I mean, man, I can't it's tell you stand, standing, on, standing on the par threes and, you know, you guys are standing there and the whole 195 yards and it's like, yeah, maybe, maybe a little six or a seven. I'm like, dude, I'd be pulling a head cover. <laughs> <laughs> So here, here's the same club, same setting, but it's a black 6X. So what would, be the, what would be the number one for you before you hit that? What would be the number one thing? Would it be distance or would it be accuracy? Accuracy. Distance will kind of always be there. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Oof. No, I, I like that though. I mean that right there, that's different. I mean that's the difference in the shaft a little bit. So yeah. let's see, let's see what happens. This thing's a telephone pole. Okay. So see, and I think that's a little bit of the same thing that you get with yours. Because remember, you got a you got a blue TX. Yep. And we were just hitting a we were just hitting a regular X in the blue. Yep. And it actually was flying a little bit better than your driver. So sometimes yeah. you can you know you can overstep that bound of just because there's a lot of speed thinking I need to go TX. Exactly. I think you're better. I think you're a little better off just in a a, reg, a standard X. Yep. So hit me one more with that. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the blue one back in. But I do like the paradigm head for you as far as controlling the spin for sure. So there you are. We're getting too much. We're getting too much cut with that and yeah. too much spin. So let's go back, and then I'm going to play with the setting a little bit because I like doing it. I like doing that, and I won't tell you what I'm doing. That one with the black, I definitely had to like work harder yep. at it. Well, and that you know that's the. That's the hard thing sometimes, you know, you, you, you try a club, you get fit for a club, you try somebody else's driver, you order something based on kind of a limited number of shots. Yep. And all of a sudden then you're kind of struggling. You shouldn't have to struggle to get ball flight. I mean, exactly. if there's one thing we do at second swing and, and you know, being, being here in the, being here in the summer, I mean, the last thing you want people, the last thing you want people to do is, is, Struggle with ball flight. You yep. got to get it up in the air. Yeah. I mean, gee whiz, I just put a, I put a five hybrid together for myself today. Yeah, you did. Yeah, because you got to get the ball in the air. <laughs> you got to play, you got to get the ball in the air. You got to be able to, you got to be able to, 
to create good numbers and who cares what the club is. Is that a paradigm hybrid? It is a paradigm hybrid, <laughs> by the way. And you know what, quite frankly, we're just, I'm just, every year I just add another head cover. <laughs> All right, let's see what, let's go back to this. Change the setting a little bit. Let's see what you think. Hard to turn that one down. I don't need a bunch of feel, but just a little bit. Okay, so there's your there's your little block. But yep. look at look at what happens spin rate wise. Instead of getting up into the 26, 27, it stays at 1800. Yeah. And with your launch angle and your speed, now it's just a push down the left hand side of the fairway. It's not that, you know, it's not that shot you hit a few times down in Arkansas, which was, you know, kind of borderline sliced. Yep. Uh, you know. So, hey, playing competitive golf, you know, it's all about managing your misses. Exactly. Yeah, that one was kind of encouraging for a miss. It's kind of that same thing. Yeah, one more time. Cuz I might go I might go back to I might go back to the other setting. Yeah, so let me have that. I'm going to go back to the other setting. So I had that one set up to draw a little bit. Yep. So to me, to my ear, it's not coming out of the center of the face anymore. So what I'm actually going to do is just I'm going to add some loft for us. But I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it in the neutral setting. So I'm going to take a nine to ten. See what happens. Beauty. And I'm always a I'm a bigger fan of lofting up than lofting down. Yeah. Because I check out. Well, because you open, you know, lofting down, we open the face. So if you're a ten five and I gotta loft you down to nine, now all of a sudden I open the face. Well, yep. what's your what's your miss? Your miss is that. One. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I want to encourage that? Literally. Yeah. That's just ripped. So maybe just a touch low on the face. Yep. But again, 302, 337. We'll take those. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that all day long. There we go. Beautiful. So there's back to where. So now, because of the setup, you can feel like you can draw it and not worry about the ball going either direction. Yep. You can full, you can full release it. Yeah. See, and I, I actually, I like that. I like that flight for you. Yeah, um, I don't mind that one. No. So hit one more, and then I'm going to go back to the original setting, and we'll see where we're at. All right, let me have that back. Let's try the neutral again. So... So that one was just 10 degrees Standard neutral. Phase. Yeah, we're just, yeah, but we're just going to go, I'm just going to go back to just stock. Just make you, just make you a stock just guy. Stock just standard, stock. man. There is nothing, there is nothing wrong with being stock. So ball speed goes back up, shot gets better, and there we go, 313, 339. So that paradigm that you already have, yep. we need to mess around with a little bit more. Yeah, we do. I think you need, in the off season, I think it'd be really good to hit some drives with that and see where you're at. So because that dri the driver that you have is the paradigm head and UST's version of that shaft in your hand. Yep. So we definitely need we definitely need to try that out more. Yeah. And that's that just that's a gorgeous shot right there. 
All right. Do we have any questions? Do you have any thoughts? What do you think? I got nothing. I mean, it's consistency. That's yeah. all I can ask for. Well, and that's and that's what we want. I mean, that's yeah. that's what you need. You know, to play golf at the level you're playing golf at. Get something predictable. You need absolutely. You need to you need to know where your good shots are going to go, and and you really need to know where your bad shots are going to go. Yep. So. Say so that's about a wrap. All right, one more, and I think we're done. Beautiful. Jeep, take it. Appreciate As it. As always, a pleasure. <laughs>